Hi everyone, it's Dr. Goyle here and you're listening to another episode of Peak Human Labs and today I want to talk to you about spermidine. Uh, you know, we hear a lot about supplements uh, that people are interested with anti-aging and most of you have heard of NMN and, N and NR, but uh, many of you have not heard about spermidine uh, and it is one of those supplements out there that uh, seems to have pretty good research behind it and uh, again, very low risk of any danger. So I think it's worth exploring this supplement and let me take you through the science and what we think is the possible mechanisms of its benefit. So first of all, it's it's called spermidine. Uh, it is present in uh, you know all types of foods, primarily wheat germ, soybean, nuts, and some fruits and vegetables, and is also produced by bacteria of the gut. Uh, and it's in, an, in a nutshell, uh, it's been shown that increased intake of spermidine is protective against cancer, metabolic disease, heart disease, and neurodegeneration. So um, again, you know, for what are actual proven ways to live longer, caloric restriction is by far one of the most studied and proven ways to extend lifespan and health span. Um, and, but the problem is that it's extremely difficult to tell people to eat less, to eat less calories. And normal, most of these studies involved eating like 25% decrease in total calories, which is quite difficult to do. And, and most people would find it, you know, unpalatable uh, to say the least. So these, uh, there are some supplements out there that are called caloric restriction mimetics, which means that they in effect act on the same pathways that caloric restriction acts on. And so they act as if you're fasting or that you're eating less food. Uh, they're called CRMs for short. And spermidine is one of those, um, one of those uh, molecules that does that. Uh, so we think it works by promoting the autophagy pathway. And so autophagy means to eat, uh, autophagy or autophagy means to eat oneself and so what happens is that um, you know one of the one of the problems with aging is that the um, you know there's there's build up of build up of, of damaged let's say byproducts cell byproducts and molecules that that are on you know if you want to call it waste doesn't get removed from the system or from the body and autophagy is the process that our body uses to get rid of these molecules and so that new molecules can be created um, it's in effect like cleaning cleaning the house um, and fasting and caloric restriction promotes autophagy so autophagy is a very important uh, like uh, process in our body that's very important for um, healthy living and longevity and so um, anything that can promote autophagy is very important because our body can't always be in a growth phase so some people are you know using you know let's say people are using growth hormone or constantly building building and you know uh, going to the gym every single day and hoping to constantly build muscle it doesn't work like that you need to give breaks everything in this in our body is a cycle so it's it's very important to uh, take a break, allow the body to get rid of dead or damaged cells and byproducts so that when the new growth happens, it happens in a better way and, uh, and then it'll happen much stronger. So um, most of the research in, in, uh, sper on spermidine, spermidine has, is happening in rodents. So that's, it's an important thing to be aware of because they have, but they've done a lot. They had done a lot of studies looking at mice, and rats, and flies, and all of them have shown that increasing spermidine amounts, uh, you know, basically improved heart function, um, decreased blood pressure, decreased heart failure, improved neuroprotection, uh, caused decreased cancer, and uh, the animals lived longer. The only thing in humans we can say is that when they um, they did stu epidemiological studies looking at those who took an extra intake of spermidine, they had improved uh, cardiovascular health, so that means heart health. 
So that's that's where we're at with it. It's uh, the good thing about spermidine. It's extremely safe. It's present again in all foods, um, and uh, and but one can supplement with it. And there are a couple of uh, products out there, but uh, not very many. We're very lucky that here at Peak Human we have Fasting Pro, which has 10 milligrams of spermidine. You probably won't be able to find anywhere else that amount of spermidine. So I think that uh, spermidine is one to look at. Do your research. I'll put up a couple of links for you to look at on the science of spermidine and the importance of this molecule as an anti-aging molecule. And I'm sure you're going to be hearing a lot more about it over the next coming years. And uh, just keep a lookout for it. And we'll talk to you soon. If you like this, uh, subscribe on YouTube, uh, send me any comments, and I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.